we're testing out the 100 times zoom on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. Samsung just announced a bunch of cool stuff including an actual flip phone, the whole line of S20 phones, and some Galaxy Buds. I took a look at a bunch of them in previous videos, I linked them down below. In this video though, I'm just chilling around in the hotel room and I figured I'd show you guys what the cameras of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra can do. In a nutshell, this thing can do 100 times zoom. So of course, I'm actually curious about how well that actually looks and how that all works. So we're gonna test it out. But first, a few specs on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra has the best of the best specs from every phone in the S20 line. It features an Infinity Dynamic AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and a punch hole camera, a USB-C port and speaker grills at the bottom, on the right side a volume rocker and an unlock button. This thing is 5G ready and has 12GB of memory and 128GB of storage expandable to 1TB and that's just the base model. In the US, you can opt for the upgraded version with 16 gig memory and 512 gig of storage. What's inside powering your phone will depend on where you are. Like for example, in the US, the S20 Ultra runs on a Snapdragon 865 5G and in the Philippines, it runs on an Exynos 990 processor. It's pretty impressive when it comes to specs, but it's also massively impressive in size. Let's not forget, that is a 6.9 inch screen. The thing is almost a tablet. It's actually quite a huge phone. Let's see if this phone fits my pocket. <laughs> it does not, ladies and gentlemen. It does not. Equally big is the camera bump on this thing, but that also might be because the people at Samsung decided that for this phone's cameras, they're gonna go big or go home. This thing has a 108 megapixel main camera that uses pixel binning to create better photos. There is a 48 megapixel zoom camera that does an optical zoom of 10x and a crazy AI hybrid zoom of 100x, which we're gonna check out later. And then there is a 12 megapixel wide angle camera. The fourth and last camera on the S20 Ultra is a depth camera for your bokeh photos. This thing packs a 5000 milliamp hour battery. And it comes in gray and black. Unfortunately, honestly, pretty disappointing colors coming from the same company which gave us a rainbow phone, but that's another conversation altogether. Anyway, now that you know all the details, let's get to the cameras. Right, so this is a Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. So, yeah, um, the highlight of this phone would be the 100 time zoom so let's go check out the cameras first we have um, the photos and then of course wide angle 1x 5x hi and this is crazy 100 right <laughs> and then the video mode of course, there is a zoom, but this goes up until 10 and then back. And then more modes, you have the live focus mode, night mode, slow motion, super slow motion. We've seen all that before. On video, you also have AR mode, except this phone isn't connected online, so we can't check that out. There's 8K mode, you can switch the aspect ratio of the video. Ultra steady mode. Ooh, and this is a new one, the single take mode. So basically, you take one video, and it's like, hey, move around, do your thing. It takes the clip for you, 
then so check this out when you open up your albums it's gonna give you all kinds of different clips that AI chose to be the best so there's a fast-forwarded version this one is just a photo <laughs> this one has color pop on it nice this is the actual video I think black and white so basically what the camera deems to be the best photos it saves on here and then you can also still edit change background effects so if I want a bokeh instead you get the idea on selfie mode so there is one selfie shooter but there's still a wide angle version it sort of just widens the frame a little bit you have of course the selfie gesture and then you have these filters here you go it's nice beauty filter so you can add them after the fact my favorite the beauty mode of course so you have all the different specific uh, options here oh I can also do single take in this mode hi and then let's see my best shots <laughs> that isn't it but oh there you go fast forwarded version video and then it picked out stills that's cute of course on video there is an 8k version and like they said once you shoot that video hi so you can pause it and i like this and then just continue on and the clip sort of goes on as if like you just cut and then continue shooting now that we have that 8k clip we can also edit it on here so there you go so from the phone there is a share button that links it directly to youtube so you can put it up online without any issues at all all right real quickly i'm gonna check out how good the zoom on this thing is so i am that far from the mirror this is the wide 1x 5x whoa 100x wow i mean that water bottle though i can read what's on it on video i can only do 10 times though so that's 10 times 1x to 4 so there's a crane right outside the window let's check it out so that would be the normal shot wide angle shot that's 5x Ooh. Oh my gosh, 100x. I can legit see the screws and everything. I'm not posting sample photos because these are still engineering units, but at least you get to see how the S20 Ultras will perform. To be quite honest, I am very curious as to how the photos of the Zoom will turn out when the final units are here but at the same time i keep on wondering like what would we actually use 100 times zoom on i mean these people from the balcony on the other side of the building they probably don't know either but despite and in spite of all my qualms in terms of real life use case scenarios with a 100 times zoom. It's undeniable that the cameras on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra are really powerful. This thing is designed for people who want more for their smartphone photography. Again, like all phones, I will need more time to do a full-on review, but let me know if you have questions about this phone and let me know if you have comments 
down below if you want to know more about my everyday or if you want to know more about the videos that I'm gonna be putting up next follow me on social media that's as Lisa said until next time